Hey everyone, welcome back to Snake Limited. I was actually on vacation last week, so I came home to a very nice surprise here. Now, this is clutch number, I believe, 22 of the year. And this one's very exciting for me. It's something a little different than what I'm normally doing. This is a black exantic female. And she was bred to a black head leopard Mojave triple head, a black exantic hypo pied male um, that I purchased from Canova, from Justin Kavoka. Um, I saw, I believe it was last year, two years ago, a video, <clears throat> and check it out if you hadn't, where Justin produced, I believe, a leopard blackhead Mojave black exantic. Um, I got the het version of it, and ever since that point, um, I was able to get the male from Justin, and it's a, it's a breeder male. He's huge. He's been breeding the four or five females for me this season, and Freedom Breeder last year, when they were getting rid of a bunch of their older snakes, I was able to pick up three visual black exanthic females. Now, black exanthic is another line of exanthic. Typically what happens with black exanthic is that the colors stay a little darker than the other lines of exanthic, which is why I picked it up, because it produces some really cool looking snakes. So this girl, uh, she is just a plain black exanthic, but when you start mixing in the other um, genetics, just like Blackhead Leopard and Mojave, it produces a striking snake that looks kind of like uh, Los Angeles Raiders colors, uh, or Las Vegas Raiders colors. It's very black and silver. Um, but as you can see here, she just got finished laying. She wasn't huge to begin with, but look how concave her stomach is there from having laid those eggs. And it looks like she laid five good eggs for me. It's a first time mom. So um, this is a very, very exciting project for me. Unfortunately, it's coming very late in the season. Um, he did breed to a hypo female. Those ones actually just hatched. He bred to a hypo pied female, and those are due to hatch here in the next week or two. And I've been breeding him to um, another, uh, I believe a cinnamon pied, possible mahogany female. And then I actually have two other black exanthic females, one of which he has been breeding to, who I believe should be getting ready to lay in the next month or so. And I have a third black exanthic female who um, hasn't been getting up to size very well. So I don't know what I'm going to do with her until I figure out kind of what happens from these other clutches. If I produce a bunch of visual black exanthics and they test positive in shed testing for hypo and pied, I'm probably going to breed her to something else. But if I hit some bad odds, um, you know, there's only five eggs here. So what I need to do is half of these should be visual black exanthic. Hopefully I hit blackhead leopard and Mojave in those. Um, angry, angry, just laid mom. And on top of that, I need to make sure I hit hypo and pie because I'm trying to hit the visual recessive there. Um, so I need to weigh her. I need to hopefully get good odds with this clutch and the next one I get out of a black exanthic female because black exanthic is still very hard to come by at this point. Um, I'm lucky that I have three females. I'm lucky that I have the het male. The test isn't out yet, at least in the US for uh, black exanthic for testing purposes, which is why I was trying to breed that male to these uh, visual black exanthic females. But as you can see, it's just a striking, pretty snake. It is, you know, it does look very exanthic. It just keeps a, kind of a little bit of the darker colors. Um, but again, check out that video from Canova. I think it was from a year or two ago where they showcased black exanthic. It's a very, very, very striking um, combos they're making there. And that's what I'm trying to do here. Just trying to lay her in the hypo and the pie. Um, so this is a short quick video. I'm uh, very excited about this clutch that she laid five good eggs Hopefully I have more on the way and I'll be waiting very impatiently for these to hatch because they're not gonna be out till close to about Halloween time so um, Very cool project very excited about this very happy to have this nice clutch out of this first time mom and Let's get her washed off get her back on food and ASAP so that she can be a part of the breeding rotation again next season